Hello everyone. Today we will discuss symmetrical tonic neck reflex that is STNR. It is one of the primitive reflexes but it is more of a postural reflex because unlike other reflexes that we have discussed so far, this reflex appears around 6 to 9 months of age like it is not present during pregnancy or early infancy. This reflex just emerges before a child learns to crawl, that is crawling on hands and knees. But this reflex also needs to integrate around 11 months so that a child can proceed with normal development. Now what is this reflex? If a child's head is bent, then both the hands or upper limb will remain in bent or flexed position and legs will remain straight. And if a child's head is extended or the child is looking up, the hands will remain straight and legs will remain bent. So, if this reflex doesn't integrate on time, then it will hamper child's hand movements with head movements or leg movements. So if it is not integrated around 11 to 12 months, then child will do hip scooting and might directly learn walking, thus missing very important milestone of crawling. Also, child will have a poor posture, will have an ape-like walk, child will have W sitting position which is of course not good for their motor and cognitive development. Child will also find difficulty in eye-hand coordination. Now what difficulties would be there when we consider eye-hand coordination? For example, a child has to catch a ball from above then while looking up hands are straight and as the ball is coming up down the head is moving like this so hands will also move but by then a ball is gone child will not be able to hold it like this so they will have difficulty in activities which need eye hand coordination they will find difficulty in learning swimming now if a child is holding a flutter and swimming by keeping the head up then there's no difficulty they will be able to move the legs or bang their legs but when child has to assume strokes with hands and head is to keep above the water level at that time child will encounter difficulty such kids will also have difficulty in eating they would be messy eaters why because to look at their food they have to look down at that time their hands are bent and if their hand moves away to take the food their head will go up so they will have difficulty in uh, handling the spoon or eating and while coming back up they need to move their head and head like this so again chances are that their, their mouth will get dirty and so as I said, they will be messy eaters. One more problem they will find is difficulty in visual tracking. Now, as I said, the head movement is related in this reflex. Now, when they have to track something in vertical direction. Now, when I say visual tracking, it means to follow any moving object with our vision very smoothly. And when I say vertical visual tracking, we have to move our vision from top to bottom or bottom to top like this. Now there are different kinds of visual tracking. One is horizontal tracking when we are reading something from left to right. Other as I said is vertical tracking from top to bottom and diagonal tracking. Now horizontal tracking develops with asymmetrical tonic neck reflex and Vertical tracking develops with symmetrical tonic neck reflex. If it is not integrated, then vertical visual tracking and also diagonal tracking will get affected. Because of this, child will have poor reading skills, particularly when reading 
something from top to bottom they might skip lines in between or they might repeat lines next on this list is difficulty in convergence convergence is when child is looking far and then they have to focus their vision on a nearby object they will find difficulty in converging the vision so while looking far and then suddenly looking nearby they will have issues with that thing so these are few of the problems they will encounter if stnr is not integrated one more is that they will have difficulty in paying attention they won't have particularly adhd but if they are sitting in the classroom they will find difficulty in paying attention to anything if they are not interested or their focus is not attracted or any personal attention is not given to them to attract their attention so they will have wandering minds their mind will wander outside and they will not be able to focus or pay attention to the things going on or won't be able to prioritize their attention so this is the list of the things uh, which uh, will get affected if stnr is not integrated on time now in my next video i will demonstrate how to assess or check whether stnr is still present or integrated or if it's disappeared and exercises which will help to integrate stnr do give your suggestions in the comment box and do like this video if you find it informative thank you